I had been asked on the Facebook page, how do you sit in the tree stand with a crossbow? It takes up so much room. Somebody who was new to crossbow hunting sent me that message on Facebook, and I figured I'd tell you at least what I do. I am now wrapping up a morning here in the first morning of the early crossbow season in Maryland, and Bungie has no arrow, as you can see, but I'm sitting here with Bungie. No arrow, but it is cocked still getting ready to climb down out of the tree stand. But I figured I would do this video real quick to show you what I do. The crossbow's the last thing you bring up into the tree stand after you've got your bag set, after you've got your camera set or whatever else. Everything else is done and out of the way. Then you can bring the crossbow up. I cock it on the ground and put it in the tree stand and I don't put an arrow in it until I'm ready to hunt, until I'm ready to sit here and see what happens. And then I sit here with an arrow loaded on safety. Generally speaking, I use tree stands with shooting rails. And if you have a shooting rail in front of you, a nice big shooting rail, you can set the, the crossbow on that. It rests very nicely. With the arrow quiver on there, it kind of sits at an angle. If that gets uncomfortable, take the quiver off, hang the quiver on a branch next to you, or put a little pin or a little nail or something into the tree. Screw something into the tree where you can hang the quiver if that helps you at all. But I like to sit there with the quiver on it. But it sits quite nicely in front of me. Again, once everything else is situated, it isn't much of a problem. I rest the stock, okay, on my right leg because I'm right-handed. Keep my thumb on the safety all the time so I know that I'm on safety and all that good stuff. And it sits very comfortably. Tree stands that don't have shooting rails, what I do, and I have hunted here in Maryland, I don't have... I don't put up these tree stands. When I come down here, I'm, I'm hunting on somebody else's property and they set up the tree stands for me. So in those instances, what do you do? I set the crossbow with the arrow in it, cocked, ready to go, with the safety on, of course, pointed straight down with the stirrup resting on the floor of the tree stand between my toes with the stock sticking straight up. I can hold on to the stock that way, keep my hands on the, on the safety to make sure it's always, I check the safety periodically. And that way it rests straight down like that. Um, never had a problem with it. And then if you're ready to take a shot, you're just going to lift it up and position yourself. That's in those tree stands that don't have shooting rails. The last option you have is you can hang the crossbow by the stirrup on a spike or a, one of those screw-in little posts that you put in a tree. You can hang the crossbow by that stirrup and just get it when you're ready to hunt, when you're, when a deer comes up. The problem with that is, is that when you're hanging it by the stirrup, the arrow protrudes and sticks out into the stirrup space there, and you might end up knocking your arrow around a little bit if it's hanging in there. That's one problem. The other thing is you got a lot of extra movement. The crossbow is not the most convenient weapon uh, because it takes up a lot of space, but one of the convenient things about the crossbow is the fact that you can hold it cocked and all you got to do is take the safety off and you're still hunting with it. Unlike a traditional bow where you got to pull back in the presence of the animal. This is convenient in that sense and I try to take advantage of that. So hanging on a branch next to me or on a spike next to me in the trunk of the tree, that's not my preferred way of doing it, but you can do it that way too. So those are three different options for you. I hope that helps. Try it out before you get in a tree stand. If you're new to crossbow hunting, you don't want to just try this uh, and learn on the job. You want to do as much of this ahead of time so that you feel comfortable doing it. Um, I am going to call it quits for the morning, go back and get a good shower and a nap and come back here for the evening uh, because it's over 90 degrees and I'm sweating really, really good as you can, I bet you can tell. So I'll be back in the tree stand in Maryland here soon. I hope you found that video helpful and I'll talk to you soon.